If you look at the face of competition, it's also radically different. There used to be a time where you would compete against either somebody that's in your industry or perhaps you would compete against somebody that was next door to you, right? So same geographic area or maybe the same industry. But look at the world that we're living in today. Um, Uber is competing against Coca-Cola. Uh, IBM is competing against uh, Dropbox, right? All of these organizations are competing against each other, not necessarily on products or services, but when it comes to talent, when it comes to people. Um, if you ever talk to an Uber or a Lyft driver, and I've taken these services many times, the people who are offering these rides, offering these services on behalf of these organizations are actually very well-educated people. I've been in Uber cars and in Lyft cars where the drivers have MBAs. They're corporate real estate attorneys. These are people that used to be bigwigs at large organizations that are just exhausted with work and are wanting to do something else. These are also people who could potentially be working at your organization. So you're not just competing against um, people or you're not just competing against organizations based on industry. You're not competing against organizations based on proximity. You're competing against everybody based on everything, regardless of what industry they're in, regardless of where they are based. So competition, just a massive melee, it's a massive bloodbath, everybody against everybody and that's really forcing organizations to take talent and to take experience much more seriously.